I'll be preaching tonight out of Romans chapter 8. Then we'll go to uh, 1 Peter chapter 4. Amen. But, church, it's not always a better road. Amen. And being a Christian, amen. So we have uh, troubles and we have trials and we have heartaches. Sometimes we don't understand things. Sometimes we uh, we have uh, problems of all sorts. Amen. But the Bible said that he'll not let no more be put on us than we're able to bear. So church, but we've got one thing uh, going for us. Amen. And, and that's a man named Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, he he come, amen, and he died for you and me, amen, he gave his, his, uh, his life, amen, just so that we could have everlasting life, amen, and, and church, we ought to be thankful, amen, we ought to be thankful that we've got somebody that loves us, amen, uh, down in this world, amen, we don't, we don't have to, there's not too much love anymore, amen, uh, I, I thought the other day as, as uh, I was uh, uh, meditating on the Lord and, and I thought how the church, amen, back when I first got saved, how the church loved one another. Amen, how they had compassion upon one another. Amen, they cared uh, whether your neighbor was sick or they cared whether... Uh, somebody was lost, amen, they would really earnestly pray, amen, uh, to get a, a hold of the Lord, amen, they would earnestly uh, talk to him, amen, and uh, now church, when we, uh, as we come to church, amen, uh, where is the love, amen, where is, is the love of, of Christ, at? amen, uh, the church is not standing for what it should be today, amen. amen. The church, amen, ought to stand for love, amen, amen. and compassion. Amen. And Jesus Christ and Him crucified, amen. amen. Uh, today it's just a commercial, amen. The, uh, church life, amen. Uh, our pastors, amen. I'm just going to say it like it is, amen. Uh, most of them is in it for the money anyway, amen. And uh, glory be to God, they're not in it for the uh, the lost soul to come, amen. And they ain't got time, amen, for the uh, sick man to come, amen, or go to them and talk to them, amen, and uh, pray with them, amen. They ain't got time. Uh, uh, but glory, I thought today, amen, that. I, what if Jesus hadn't had time? I, I glory be to God for you and me, amen. What, uh, where would we be tonight, amen, if Jesus hadn't uh, said, I'll go, amen. Uh, where would we be, brother uh, Bob, tonight, amen. Where would we be if we would sit, amen, uh, uh, sit down, amen, and just quit? Uh, uh, people is quitting left and right, amen. Uh, uh, people People you thought that would never go out of church. I, I glory be to God is sitting at home. I, I glory be to God ain't caring I, I, whether they're going to heaven or hell. I, I church people ain't don't fear I, I, what God can do no more. I, I glory be to God. Everybody knows and everybody says I, I, He's a God of love. Amen. I, yeah, if He had a love, Amen. He wasn't a game. I, He's the only begotten Son, but He's also a God of wrath. Amen. Church, don't you think that you're getting by with of it tonight? Just don't think, amen, that we're getting by with everything that we're not doing. Amen. Come on. Praise the Lord. I just sold that in there. Amen. That won't cost you nothing. Amen. But glory be to God, I've got the scripture the Lord has put on their hearts. Amen. I know, amen, that we come. Amen. We have heartaches and we have troubles. 
Uh, glory be to God. And people looks around at us and says, oh, well, where is your God? Amen. If you're serving such a good God, uh, uh, where's he at now? Amen. Why are you laying there? Uh, uh, why are you sick? Amen. Uh, uh, why are you doing without? Amen. Uh, uh, church, we need to uh, praise him whether we're having a bad day uh, or whether we're having a good day, uh, uh, whether we're happy uh, or whether we're sick. Uh, we are to praise him anyway. Uh, glory be to God because he deserves it. Amen. Uh, he deserves to be praised. Why don't we praise him anyway? Amen. And then these doubters, what not? Amen. Listen. Every time you come up, you go in Walmart, amen, you see a Christian, amen. First thing you do, amen, how you doing, their face will drop about that far. Uh, glory be to God, and they'll start telling you how bad they, they've had it, amen. Uh, glory be to God, how, how uh, the devil has eat them up, amen. Glory be to God. Uh, uh, but church, amen, why can't we say uh, from time to time, Jesus loves me. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, and these sinners that's asking you, how you doing, amen. Uh, amen. They want to come and get some of what you've got. Amen. Our church, amen. We've let this world, our glory be to God. I see the downside. Our glory be to God. It's time we uplift one another. Amen. It's time we uplift in the name of Jesus Christ. It's time, church. I praise Him in the good times. And praise Him in the bad times. It's time, church. And we praise Him for everything that He does. Glory be to God. It's time. Amen. I glory be to God. We lift his name up and let this world know that he's still on the throne, that he still loves us, that he's still there for us, that he'll always be there. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. We'll go, amen, and we'll let the world know, amen, that we're having hard times. Amen. Glory be to God. Why do we do that? We want sympathy. Amen. Come on. I'm just going to say it like it is. Uh, we need that we want sympathy. Amen. We want everybody to feel sorry for it. Well, if we should feel it, everybody feels sorry for it, they may give us a dollar or two. Come on now. Amen. Uh, glory be to God. I will say it. Amen. With a long face. Amen. Before long, the whole church has got a long face. Amen. But if we'll smile every now and then, I raise our hands unto the Lord. Glory be to God. Maybe he'll rub off on your brother or sister. Amen. And then we all can rejoice. Amen. Amen. We can rejoice. Amen. My glory be to God. We need to rejoice. Amen. somebody how sick we are uh, they'll come up with a bigger sickness than you got hey man before you leave the conversation it's just all time anyway I, I glory be to God I will tell you something if I die let me die in the army of the Lord come on now if I die let me die in the army of the Lord my church is tired our glory be to God. Yes, we Lord rejoice Lord. and thank Him Lord. for what He's done for us. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. If I die, let me die, let me die brother, yes, right. in the army of the Lord. Come on. Yes, 
Amen. I want to be on that farm line, don't you? Amen. When he, explain, when he splits that eastern sky, I don't want to have to run to the rocks and say, hide me. I want to run towards him. I love him with God. And say, here I am. I love him with God. A church, I don't want him to turn his back on me. Glory. A lot of these so-called churches and Christians, hey, my He's going to turn his back on you. Come on now. What are you talking about, preacher? There you are judging again. I don't judge nobody. The Bible says you're judged by the fruits that you bear. Amen. And I've seen a lot of rotten fruit. Come on now. Amen. It's time, church. Uh, we prune our little trees up. I uh, glory be to God. I uh, will uh, put a little sawdust around the roots. I uh, glory be to God. I uh, glory and come on. Uh, and for long, your fruits will be good. I uh, glory be to God. What are you talking about, preacher? I'm talking about repentance. I uh, uh, glory be to God. The church uh, itself uh, needs to repent. I uh, uh, glory be to God. Not just one individual, but the church, amen, needs to repent. Amen. Come on. Amen, brother. We need to repent. You say, well, God don't move down there no more. Amen. He won't move where sin is. Come on now. Are you going judging again? Amen. Let me tell you, I didn't have this when I come here, amen. I, I glory be to God. I'm just bold enough to get up and speak what he gives me. I, I glory be to God. Come on now, church, amen. It's time that the church repents, amen, and gets back. Our Bible says seek out the old path and when you find it, I walk therein. Church, amen, a lot of us, I don't even know where that old path is, but Lord, be to God, I know where I started. I know my old path, amen. It was down there on the Back Valley Road in a little old church, a little old building. I glory be to God, what I worked turned down. But glory be to God, that God made it pure. I glory be to God. And if you come and repent, He would make you pure. I don't even know how they're going to go this way. Come on. Yeah. God's still real. God's still real. Amen. He's the same today as he was when he saved my soul. Amen. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Amen. We've the one that's changed. The Bible says in Romans, chapter number 8, at verse number 18, the Bible says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this life, come on now, listen, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Amen. Church, don't you know tonight that these people out here is looking at you. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. If you ain't got nothing to give them, they ain't going to look too long. But if you got something, brother, they'll say that boy's got something. And I want a little bit. Amen. Glory be to God. These troubles that you're having, they ain't worthy. Amen. For the goodness that's to come. Yeah. Glory be to God for you. Thank you, Lord. These troubles that we have, they ain't worthy, Claude, of the glory that's coming. Amen. Jesus said there's joy coming in the morning. Amen. <laughs> he didn't say what morning, but I guarantee you it'll be every morning 
if you're in the arms of the Lord, every morning, amen, is joy. Every morning, amen, can be happiness. Every morning can be peace. Amen. Praise the Lord. Every morning. First Peter chapter number four. Starting at verse number twelve. The Bible says, Believe, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials which is to try you as though some strange thing has happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, Amen. that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceedingly joy. Lord. Come on now, listen Lord. to me. The Bible says, if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, Happy are ye. Our glory be to God for the spirit of glory and of God rest us upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. The church can glorify him. Amen. I now listen, but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God. Listen, church, on this behalf, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Come on now. What did I just say? That the church needs to repent. Amen. How glory be to God. It says it 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 first begins uh, at us. What shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let these that suffer according to the will of God commit the, the keeping of their souls to him and well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Amen. Lord, church, I just read to you, amen, how that judgment starts in the church. I glory be to God and that we have to go out and we've got to reveal it unto the world, amen. Our people, church, amen, I don't want to hear your problems. Our people don't want, amen. I glory be to God for hear your sob stories. I glory be to God. Why can't we tell them uh, uh, the good things that God does? Amen. Uh, uh, church, if everybody in here uh, would tell what God done, uh, we'd be here till in the morning. Amen. Uh, but we ain't got enough time to say thank you, Lord. Uh, glory be to God. But the Bible says that he inhabits uh, the praise of his people. Amen. Uh, church, if you praise him, brother, uh, he'll give you more. If you praise him, brother, uh, he'll move for you. Uh, glory be to God. If you do your little part, uh, he'll do his big part. Yes, amen. That's right. God. Thank you, Lord. Church, Thank you, Lord. we've done talks about earlier, you can't outgive God. No, you can't. God will give. Yeah. Amen. We won't even have mercy. Come on now. Come on. Get with me. Amen. Amen. I come on. We'll come to the place. Amen. It hurts to even put a dollar. I come on in the offering. I glory be to God. It hurts, brother. I glory be to God. And we do it. Amen. Well, I'll do this so they won't talk about me. I'm going to tell you something. It's God's anyway. I glory be to God. You ain't given nothing because God's done give it all. Amen. He's done give everything that he had. He gave the best thing. Right. 
He gave the best thing that he had. And that was his only begotten son. So we wouldn't have to taste death. Come on now. And we ain't got five minutes to pray. We ain't got two hours to come to church. But along when we need something, we'll pray and we'll pray till we get it, won't we? Or we'll have somebody else pray till we get it. Amen. Church, don't you think it's time we grow up a little bit? Yes. Come on now. I preached here the other night when some of us need to sit down and shut up and listen. I glory be to God. But I'm going to tell you the key to that is to listen. I know nobody don't listen to the word. I glory be to God. We'll not go out. Amen. I will not read it until the preacher reads it. Come on. I glory be to God. We'll wipe the dust off when we come to church. Amen. I glory be to God. And then we'll get on there and we'll act like we know everything that's going on. I glory be to God. But we ain't got a clue. I glory be to God. Church, it's time we put our nose to the grindstone. I uh, glory be to God. I know when I was out able to work, uh, I'd work every hour I could work. Uh, I'd get every dollar I'd get. Come on now, amen. Uh, it wasn't that I love money, uh, but my kids or nobody wasn't going to do without. Uh, I got out and I've done what I had to do. If I had to stay late, I'd stay late. If I had to go in early, I'd go in early. Uh, but glory be to God. Uh, when it comes to the house, of God and it comes to this job. I glory be to God. I'm a Paul Ayers of the night, brother. I glory be to God. Don't think uh, tonight, amen, uh, that when we go home that pastor ship stops. I glory be to God. That's when it begins. Uh, come on, amen. How can I preach, amen, unless I be sin or unless it be sin unto me. I glory be to God. How can we church? Uh, glory be to God. Uh, we think it's easy, amen, uh, to come to the house of God and just sit there until the preacher gets done and then we'll go home. That ain't when it's all there, brother. We are to come to the house of God and worship him. Uh, this is a place of worship. Uh, glory be to God. This is a place, amen, work out yonder work at home but glory be to God when you come here worship him oh, I've heard them say well so and so won't let us do nothing hey, well you don't need to go to so and so's church come on ask God for it can't they send you amen I ain't telling you to come here. I ain't none of my business where you go. But it is my business when you're here. Amen. I've got to tell you what God tells me. Amen. Whether you like it or whether you don't. I glory be to God. But judgment starts in the house of God. Church, we've got to start it here. If we ever want to get anybody from out there in here, we got to start it in here first. And then we'll say, and we'll cry and whine, amen. But he said, I reckon that the sufferings of this life, <laughs> come on, the sufferings of this present time are not worthy. It ain't worthy to be spoken again. Come on. <laughs> Let's see what Jesus has got next time. Amen. When you meet a sinner out in the world, amen, over at Walmart, and you go up and you start talking to them and you know that they don't go to church, why don't the first thing you say, Jesus loves me and he loves you too? Come on. When we were ashamed, amen. He said, if you be ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. Church, we're going to have to get boldness again, amen. And tell the world, amen, that he's still alive, amen. That he's still on the throne. Amen. Or yet, and I 
that church. Are you willing? I hear all the time, I love my church. I love him lost people out yonder. And I'm going to do whatever it takes in here to get them out there in here. Before the service, I went back there in my office and I said, Lord, send them. Send them. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they're made of. I don't care what color they are. Just send them. Send them. And I'll preach them the word, and you can straighten them up. Come on. Instead of pastors and preachers trying to straighten them up, you got to let God straighten them up. Come on. I'm not up in the straightening up business. I'm in the saving business. I want to see somebody born again. I don't care who they are. I don't care if they got money. I don't care if I got a big suit to wear or big fancy dresses, amen. It don't matter. I want to touch somebody's heart, don't you? Come on. That's where it's at, brother. It ain't on the outward, it's on the inward. Everybody worries about the outward. But it's the inward we need to worry about. Amen. God will take care of the outward. We need to get to the touch with the inward. I love you, church. I'm going to preach hard and tell you. I love you. care about you. I want you to preach to me. I want you to show me. I want you to reach out and touch the Lord as he walks by. Like that old song said, reach out and touch the Lord as he walks by. What do you mean as he walks by? Ain't you never felt it? If you ain't never failed him and know that he walked by, you need to get on the altar. Because if he hadn't have told me to preach this, I'd have preached out of the Ephesians tonight. Come on. But he said, no. I'll get that another time. This code went to somebody. I don't know. My church. He's still alive. Yes, I've done a funeral the other day. I'm trying to find a place to hide. She's 57 years old. One year older than me. I went to high school with her. And I never dreamed while I was in high school that I'd stand over and preach her funeral. But you know, I didn't preach her funeral. She preached her own funeral. Amen. You preach your own funeral every day that you get up and leave. You're going to be the one to stand before God, not me. So we need to get things fixed up, church. I'm not saying none of you is wrong. I ain't saying that you're all saying it. I'm saying that judgment starts in the house of God. We've got to get it fixed up in here before God's going to send them from out there in here. We've got to be ready. We've got to be where we need to be, doing our job. If we're doing our job, he's just to do his So do you love the Lord tonight? Do you want to go to that place that she was talking about, that place that she said it was beautiful and it's called heaven? I want to go there, don't you? And the only way, brother, and you son, the only way, there's one way to get there, and that's through by Jesus Christ. You can't get there through there by your pastor. You can't hold on to his coat tail tape and get in there. You gotta go for yourself. And there's just one way. And that's through and by Jesus Christ.